Deputy Secretary General and officials of ITU, Excellencies, heads of delegations, distinguished guests, please accept the war our warmest regards and greetings from the Philippines. We are deeply honored to join the telecommunications and government leaders of the world who are assembled here today in this marvelous city of Bucharest. The Philippines thanks the government of Romania for the splendid hosting of this year's plenipotentiary. Our membership in the ITU for more than a century reflects our strong commitment to its common goals and aspirations. And to attain this, we need to continue to work hard together. Six years ago, through a dedicated Department for Information and Communications Technology with attached agencies for cybersecurity, telecommunications, and data privacy, the Philippines has fully embraced digitalization as both a clear policy direction and a strategic goal towards a sustainable digital transformation. Our investments in digital infrastructure and connectivity compose of 90% of our total department budget to ensure that every island of our over 7,000 islands are connected to the rest of the world. Already, close to 4 million Filipinos, including our school children, enjoy free Wi-Fi in more than 4,000 schools and public places across the country, and mostly in geographically isolated and disadvantaged communities. Our target in the next 15 months is to activate close to 10,000 sites to serve more than 10 million Filipinos. The Philippine National Broadband Program, which is now over 70% complete with its fiber backbone, is targeted to be completed in May of 2023 and connecting almost 1,000 national and local government agencies. We steadily improve our ranking from 63 to 57 for our fixed broadband and from 73 to 62 for our mobile internet speed. Our country's digital future is now anchored on an agile bureaucracy aligned with the marching orders of our new president, Ferdinand Marcos Jr., that allows our laws and programs for e-government systems and overall digital governance should benefit our young nation with an average age of 24 years old. And these are tech-savvy citizens. Through our iGovernance project, we target to digitize and improve the interoperability, security, and data-driven capacity of all our 81 provinces, 147 cities, and 1,488 municipalities to ensure that government services are citizen-centric. The Philippines also recognizes the value of digital data and has worked relentlessly with the ITU and other member states in laying the foundations for ICT statistics in the country. This led to the successful conduct of the first ever national ICT household survey in 2019 as well as 2022 to ensure data-driven policy decisions. Clear programs and national policies for massive digital upskilling are now in place to future-proof our workforce, our greatest resource to ably serve the world's complex digital services to ensure cybersecurity and promote startup innovations. Our target is to train 5 million Filipinos through online courses in basic and advanced digital skills, including emerging technologies to complement the target of 3 million digital jobs by 2026, doubling our current numbers for business and knowledge process management, and increasing the current 4 million number of Filipinos 
in what we call the gig economy. Our Digital Cities program has become an excellent template for developing Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities into mature locations for digital services. We wish to share our matrices and experts with ITU member states aiming to ge generate digital jobs, especially for your countryside population. In closing, I earnestly seek your support for the Philippines' candidature for the ITU Council for 2022 to 2026. The Philippines looks forward to sharing the success stories of our citizen experts to member states in the spirit of collaboration and partnership. These citizens are our frontliners and ground workers who not only speak but live and embody the human face of technology and connectivity. And in support of the Bucharest Declaration, the Philippines will work closely with ITU and all its member states to achieve a better digital future for all of us. Thank you very much.